Why are you calling that fake? Okay, so we're getting started. I'm facing a Grunfeld Indian. Well, since I'm tryharding now, I'm playing very serious openings. Here we have a check, which is one of two checks in the position. And generally, when you look at a position, you should check, you should look for checks and uh, captures first. So, there were no captures, so I looked for a check. I don't think bishop g5 is very good. But, it's fine. Did I look at knight x f7? Mm, wish that had been an option. <laughs> Educational tryharding? Yeah, exactly. Uh, is there any point to go on bishop b5? No. I don't think so. Bishop g4. He's developing normally, but if he doesn't strike in the center soon, these two pawns are going to be giving me a pretty significant um, positional advantage. Hikaru has three times more viewers. Yeah, but he's a professional streamer. You know? As I said before, it's hard to compete. And have you seen my streamer rating? Like, his rate, chess rating is very high and I think his stream rating is also very very high. 95 now is probably good. Let's see. Okay. Takes, takes, queen c8, I go f3, bishop moves and then I take an e7. Looks pretty good in here. Yeah, you can actually play like this. I go f3, bishop h5, and if g4 he has g5, so his bishop isn't actually trapped. But that's fine. I'll just play positionally instead. Queen a5. Should still have a pretty, uh, a pretty nice edge. Why did I lose to Nutterbeck? Um, I we both had a we we had a queen each, and he would forcibly get another queen, and uh, then he would have had one queen more, and he could have then subsequently checkmated me. So that's how I lost. Okay, I haven't played this in a very good way. Let's go h3 to prevent counterplay. Cheating, getting an extra queen? Yeah. I don't make the rules though. Queen back. Yeah, I was hoping he'd trade the queens. He's actually playing really well now, so... Um, maybe I have to go back to the... Promised tryharding, that didn't really happen. I'm hoping that his bishop is a little bit out of the game. So let's bring the king in and just blunder a pawn. Why not? He didn't see that. He could just have taken a d1 and then a2. I would have been in pretty significant trouble. Now I'll trade. Uh, he drops the bishop back. He's playing really well. I have no advantage whatsoever. My rating is higher than all of chat's rating com ratings combined. That's yeah, probably accurate. Thank you for streaming for us, Magnus. We appreciate it. Well, thank you. Um, okay, let's go a5. Try and fix his pawns. Um, try to activate the rooks now, but it's not so easy. Uh, 
there any chance I can win with some something like rook d1 to d4? Probably not. Okay, I just have to go try and break up his structure then. This is not gonna be easy. No music this time? Nope. Maybe we'll have some music later. If my tournament goes uh, sideways, but for now it's big tryhard mode. Uh, Bishop e2 is somewhat weird, but I guess it's fine. Here he has to go like rook c2, bishop d4, and then move the. Okay, let me. No, that doesn't really work. Okay, let's just go bishop d4 then. Setting up e5. Now I can't trade rooks, of course. Then it would be uh, just a blockade and an easy draw. But he doesn't go c5, which he should have, um, creating some serious counterplay. Now I should have some chances. I have a little trick here. Oh, bishop c4 is a good move, maybe. Okay, let's go rook f8. I had some tricks there with rook g8 and then rook g5 and later bishop here. But he saw that. Unfortunately. Okay. Bishop c4, I can go king e2. Okay, let's go bishop d4. If c5, I'll go bishop here. No, that's no good. It's actually not good at all. He can go b4. Why did I think that would be good? Oh boy, it's not easy. It doesn't look like I'm winning the first game here, which is a bit of a disappointment. Oh, now he's giving me a pawn. Now I get some chances. Got some chances for the old bad game, good result outcome. Check. What's the point of check? Is he panicking somewhat? Okay, let's move the bishop, then go f5. Push. He's hoping he'd blunder his rook somehow. Let's threaten his rook. He didn't see it. Is bishop d3 a draw? Yeah, I feel like he's my age, or maybe even a bit older. Okay, let's go back to the um, to the grub. G5. Hopefully he'd resign early. Like people have in the past. So he's really old? Yeah, exactly. Okay, g4. The way he plays it now, it's just a bad modern defense, basically. Or really bad, because this pawn is weak. But it's not... It's not sort of losing. Or at least not in an obvious way. It is pretty ugly to look at, I have to say. Also, this pawn takes away this square from my knight. Okay, let's give the pretense that I'm attacking. Knight d5, I mean. Yeah, that was bad. I shouldn't have allowed that. Because he gets knight h5 now. So I have to prevent knight h5. Then I'm just giving up b4. For um, negligible compensation. Why am I so disrespectful? I wasn't raised well, unfortunately. At least he's thinking now. He was looking if there was a um, 
um, there was a problem with uh, with the pawn, which there obviously wasn't. He's just pawn up. Uh, I feel like my position is so bad now. I'm just gonna play an end game, a pawn down. At least then I won't get checkmated. Like then the space that I have on the king side might actually be an asset. Okay, let's drop the bishop back maybe and not trade it. Okay, I can actually go here. To g5, I can go e6. Then he can take, yeah, but that's fine. Trying to confuse him just a tad. C3. I feel like this trade is good for me. Um, how should I rearrange my pieces now? Knight to b6, but then I'm allowing... The problem with pushing c5 is now I can't do this, because he takes the pawn. I should just go rook b6 and then e6. At Asios, I have to go. Can you please save the mod? Um, yeah, it might actually happen. No. Any music? No, no music. There's a command for that. Exclamation mark, no music. Has Asios left already? It's pretty weak, if you ask. Uh, okay, we probably take, then take on d6, getting to rook ending, okay, he didn't, it's a little, a little bit surprising, I'll go here just to pr protect the c7 square in case he tries to invade, obviously worse still, but the worst is kind of over now. Uh, okay, let's go d5. Try and create some confusion. Did I party after the tournament in... Uh, in Vicense? No, I generally don't party after... Losses, you know. Uh, wait a sec. Do I have any useful moves at all here? Let's bring the king over. It was a bad idea to grub. Yeah. I gotta say, the quality of the games hasn't been the greatest so far in the stream. Um, what's this? Why is he taking there? Guess I'll take enough too. Oh! What am I doing? That's just hanging. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I'm... I'm... Yeah, I don't know what's happening to me. <laughs> I mean, he just protected that. Literally, like... A couple of moves before. I mean, what the actual fuck? I mean, I'll continue to fight, but the chances of being successful here are not are not great. I I usually start the tournaments well and then fuck up later. This time, I'm starting in a bad way. Let's see if I can create any chances here whatsoever. Uh, continue to threat threaten stuff. Every move that I don't lose on the spot is now a victory for me. Hmm? He's thinking a bit. 
Getting just a tad nervous. Okay, let's block the pawn. Knight a4, uh, that's a good move. Rook d1. Sorry, Rook. Yeah, Rook d1, there's Knight c3. Hmm. Not good. Okay, let's move away. He pushes. Take the pawn. He's protecting everything. Okay, let's go here. Prevent nine eight four. Mm. So this is not looking great. I have to say. Um, rook b4. That's the uh, methodic methodical way, preparing knight a4. There are other ways as well, but it's obviously more than sufficient. Okay, let's bring the king up. Because <laughs> why the hell not? I'm losing regardless. Knight d7, is it win? This is obviously a win as well. Oh, it's just preparing checkmates. Nice. Yeah, I'm completely lost now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. That was hard. Okay, let's play the Sicilian. Very solid. This is called, what's this called? I just call it the uh, A6 line of the, uh, apparently it's time enough. I thought time enough was queen C7. Uh, don't read chat, play chess, show strengths, show class. You've clearly never been on this stream before, if you're talking about class. <laughs> What's this F for? Um, F4 is unpleasant. He's intending to checkmate me. Very quickly. Okay, let's go bishop e7. I'm kind of worried about this and then f5 though, but I didn't see a better move. We're witnessing pure class. Yeah, maybe you are, but not here. I'll take it. Bishop c5 wasn't good. No, I think it's just a check and then I sort of force his king where he, where he wants to go. My bishop would not be good on c5. I'd like my pawn or my knight there. Bishop f4. Yeah, now I'll bring the knight around. It's a nice trick there if he'd gone e6, then I'd take queen e6. I uh, move the king away and then I would uh, win some material. Um, wait a sec. He has some dangerous threats. I have to give him that. I think if bishop h6, probably have to go for queen b6 and queen b2 and hope I don't get mated somehow. Bead sounds coming through the mic. I'm psyching the exchange. Getting destroyed by these low rated players. Yeah, sad but true. Well, now that he takes the exchange, I'm not so worried. 
23 probably. If he moves the knight, then I can take the pawn. And then I'm definitely doing well with two pawns and pretty strong position for the exchange. Safe dark squares, yeah. It's a little bit safer. Uh, a little bit safer now without the bishop. Yeah, queen g3 is the right move. Now... Suffering me a draw? Fuck off. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I might lose the game, but I'm not gonna take a draw. Ah, <laughs> uh, I underestimated my d4. Probably should have taken the draw. Keep c8. I'm really not playing well. Uh, he should have gone with the other rook. Now I can take this pawn. And... Uh, yeah, let's just try and consolidate. Now again, I got the uh, two pawns for um, for the exchange, and I should be doing okay. He does have some attacking potential, though, so I have to be a bit careful. Okay, let's maybe bring the queen back. And the bishop here. I'm attacking the pawn on e5. He sacks the bishop, but I don't think that actually works. Queen takes, I got queen e5. Queen e8, I got king h7, and I think I'm just protecting everything. Because centralized queen is incredibly strong. And here I think I can just win with checks now. Bishop e5, g3, I got queen e2 at the very least. Just take the rook and we win. Okay. Okay, I lost, or I almost lost to a pole earlier in the tournament, so maybe I'll lose to another. Okay, let's go a6. This is a very solid line. Uh, let's go here. Oh, this is, is this the trick? Now I can take a bit of t4, I think. Ah, this is not great, actually. I don't know why I did that. He could have given a check on e2, I think. Could have been better. Now I'm sort of fine. My pawn structure is very solid, and though he has some extra space, it's, he's probably going to try and attack on the king side somehow, but it's not so easy. Held a message for a reason swearing. Allow it? Yeah, we'll allow it. Polska Gorom Kurva. That's not that's not swearing. That's just how Polish people talk. Would you play Minecraft with me? Probably not. Never played Minecraft. Well do I I although I do like the game in principle. I never played it and you probably, I don't know you, but you probably wouldn't be uh, my first choice to play my first Minecraft game with. Jokic MVP, probably. 
Could be in beat as well. Now we can trade the rook off. Shouldn't be do shouldn't be doing too badly. So far I don't think his attack on the king side is really going anywhere. So now he's resorting to mo one move threat. I can't do this, this, and then queen d2. And that actually looks good. So if he moves the rook somewhere else, I just go knight of eight and I won a pawn for very little compensation. Pinball or a solitaire player? Yeah, exactly. I played a lot of both of those games. Minesweeper as well. Rumor games. Big Real Madrid buying so many youngsters. Yes, I think it's good business. Oh, I just blundered. No, I didn't. I almost blundered. He could have taken on d7, then I take the rook. King moves and I go queen d1, which I didn't see at first. FPL rank so far, first time chatter. You're gonna brag about your own rating or your own rank. My ra ranking is probably below yours, I would say. Liverpool will destroy Real Madrid? Maybe. It would be the first time they destroy a team this season, though. Okay, let's keep taking some pawns. Salah strat not working, yeah. Definitely not. Now I think I have the tactic. Seems to work. So my king is really snug and safe there. Even though he's got some like half threatening pawns, it's just no. Playing Frederick Svana, uh, younger brother of Rasmus, who's a uh, solid 2600 plus GM. And just Frederick is becoming a very strong GM himself. There are Danes living in Germany. Queen of six. Wowza. That was unexpected. What should I do now? Let's try and go for a safe move. Check. Yeah, I think that's the normal move. Here. Okay, and let's just develop. Shouldn't be too bad. Actually, it's pretty un unimpressive. Like d6 and bishop g4, maybe? Now I can maybe go bishop g5, question mark. Okay, let's go b4 first. Attack his pieces a little bit. Now bishop g5. Now I'm playing with the old well-tested strategy of just threatening stuff and then hoping something works. Ignore his moves and play my own game. Yeah, it's usually good. In, it's usually a good strategy in chess. And most other games. Should I keep the bishop or should I trade? If I attack 10, something 10 times, they'll make a mistake. Exactly. You're learning. Am I actually a good gamer? No. I only play chess. Oh, the viewers are back. Nice. Okay. Okay. 
cool. Very good. I wasted a little bit of time changing the um, title, but not too much. Should go bishop c4? No. No need for subtlety. I feel like I'm slightly better here. Play CSGO, chess sucks. Is that Elon Musk in the chat? He doesn't like chess. <laughs> that was probably Elon. Let's take it. If it takes the pawn, knight c4 here. I'll go bishop c2, then bishop e3, maybe. My position is kind of unimpressive to say. h3, then king h2, and f4. No, Nepo is technically stronger than Magnus. Well, we don't ban people easily in this channel, but that sort of comment could put you over the edge. Okay, let's go for an attack. Oh, that was royally stupid. A, B, F4, I didn't see B, C3. Uh, I have to go with bishop b3 then, and cb. I'm playing pretty bad. Pretty badly in this game. Pretty, 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 pretty bad. Ban that terrible human being? Yeah. Well, we are... We don't ban easily, but as I said... That was not good. Uh, but I'm still doing sort of fine. If he moves the bishop, I got d b5, knight d4, b6. Bishop d4, I got rook c1, and then b5 is a threat. This, however, hmm, I'm not sure I like this for him. Queen d6. It's funny that my king is just on h2 for no reason here. But apart from that, my position looks a bit better. I have the bishop pair. He cannot take the pawn because it takes and then bishop d6. And if rook d8, I have queen c7, rook d7, and then rook e1, I think. Oh, why am I pointing the adder instead of playing the move? Too much streaming. He clearly missed this one. What am I doing? Why didn't I just take... Ah, then queen before. It's actually... This is actually better. This is actually better. Not so easy to win. Okay, let's take it. Ah, uh, bishop e yeah, bishop e six, but hmm, no, it's not easy to win at all actually. Should I go bishop e five and then rook g six? No, then it's got hmm. I haven't played this perfectly. This knight is a little bit out of play, but I cannot quite trap it, can I? Rook b2, then he's got, then he's got knight c1. Okay, let's do this. Knight b3, rook c2, try and dominate his knight a little bit. He's got rook d7 though. Okay, let's get the majority going. I mean, with, uh, with an extra pawn and a very strong bishop there, are definite winning chances here. 
trying to dominate the knight again. Let's push. Push again. Out of seven. That's a bit annoying, actually. Ah. Uh, running out of time. I think I gotta go for the rook ending. That was a mistake. Now he's losing for sure. Ah, uh, playing too slowly. He had to check there first, I think. Now here, king goes to g6. I feel like I heard the name, but I don't know who that is. There was a player once on a site, which I shouldn't mention, who was from South Korea. I think his name was Galbajim. He was pretty good at... He was pretty good at bullets. But I think he's retired. I don't know who it was, because there aren't many good players from from South Korea. Uh, what do you play here? Let's go to the Queen E8. It's an old line. Boomer line! Aryan is playing... He's playing Ikari, is that true? Oh, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty bad, bad pairing for Aryan at his score, whether he's paired down or he's four and a half out of six. Tari, also a strong player or something like that. Yeah, exactly. What is this? Now I can take the pawn. I think I've seen this. This is, yeah, I think this is some kind of old theory. I think this doesn't actually lose for black. What is he doing? He wants rook b1, maybe? Then I shouldn't be worse, or even close to it. I think he has to fight for equality now. So, uh, I feel like my um, opening has worked out pretty well. Classical phased out why? I don't know, I don't, don't think it's a great... I don't think it's a great product for playing at the highest level. I think... Like rapid chess, especially, and also blitz to some extent, is just better. Like I l like playing classical chess myself, but I don't like, don't really like the preparation part and all the all of that. And I, I feel like that part is just a little bit too important. Uh, let's go knight a four. Yes, got decent play here, but I should be doing fine. Bishop e6, I think. Uh, wait a sec. To calculate a little bit. Uh, bishop b6, bishop d6. So you can rook e8, c5, bishop b3, but that doesn't work. So, what shall I do instead? Not so easy. Okay, let's go trade then. Or at least offer one. I like the stream rating, but a lot of people have said same already. Yeah, it's a nice rating. It's just gonna trade. It trades this way. Okay, I probably wants to bring the knight around to uh, to e4 after I trade. But I think I have a little trick. Let's see if it works. Knight b2. That's what I was sort of banking on. Threatens the fork and the pawn. I may be the world champion of chess, but on Twitch I'm just another streamer trying to understand the lingo. Yeah, exactly. Although I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm 100% trying to understand the lingo. Like, I embrace parts of it, but not everything. Like, I embrace parts of it sort of ironically. 
parts of it un unironically and parts of it I don't even recognize. Took Hikaru three years to understand his first meme. I don't know. Has he understood a meme? If that happened, please let me know. Uh, I mean, I haven't seen that. Okay. Rookie 8 was probably more of a pretty cheap trick than anything else. As the song goes, you like cheap tricks. Okay, let's move the knight back, I guess. Why not? No, c4. Mana is a little bit out of play, maybe, but it's still attacking this pawn. Whatever I want, I can break out with. Uh, with b6. Okay, let's just bring the king. For the moment, I don't really have a plan. I'm just moving pieces. Which I guess in, in itself is a plan. Rook d7 next, maybe. My opponent is defending pretty well. Hmm, that was not a good move by me. Okay, let's go here. Just by making a waiting move, hoping he makes some sort of tactical mistake. Okay, but now I try and exchange. Exchange with the rook. Okay, let's take with the rook. He doesn't want to trade. Okay, then I jump in. Check. I get in with the rook. I do pin my own knight, but he's pretty tied down now. Rook b1, yeah, but then I advance the king. He could maybe have gone for some counterplay there, but he chose not to. Okay, let's continue to advance the king. He really should go for counterplay here. He doesn't though. I think it's a mistake. Now that I take... Oh, could almost attack his knight, but I don't think it works. Okay, let's eliminate all counterplay. Oh, I can actually just go this and then knight e3. Oh, he has to check first. That's tricky. But I still win this and knight f4. Sorry, knight e f4 and knight e3. This and I just trade off to the pawn ending. I should be comfortably ahead here. And I also queen on a square that covers his queening square. square. So that's easy enough. Oh, I get paired up again. Most of the poor world champion under 18. Is he born in 97? I don't know. In that case, the world ch championship probably happened a few years ago. If my ma math is correct. Is he playing the Petrov? Come on. I'll transpose to the French. No Petra for you. The exchange French. This is a pretty uh, innocuous line. I kind of like it. You know, just get an endgame immediately. And then have some fun. Takes. I think I had this against... Like, Gary Meyer or something. Yeah, probably had to take with the king. I think I could have taken his pawn on h7 otherwise. Now I just want to go bishop d2 and then knight e5. Why didn't they not let the queens face each other against Rapport? That's a good question, Alex. Simply forgot about the Rapport game. Magnus has fun after exchanging queens. Be like Magnus. That should be the meme. Go bishop f4 maybe. That's too much playing for tricks. 
Let's go. Uh, let's go F4. It's a little bit ugly. But so am I. And let's just push. If he takes, 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 then I trap his knight with h3. Okay, let's, let's just go f5. He's really kind of cramped over here. Still here, the knight is just trapped. It was a joke. I'm not ugly. I'm a beautiful human being. Okay, let's just protect. Bring the king in. Uh, okay, he wants knight g5. It's a bit annoying. Can't really go h4 because he. Yeah, let's go king g3 then. My nose looks like a rook. Never thought about that, but now that you're saying it, it makes sense. Yeah, he's going to go knight e4 and we're going to... Oh, really? He just goes back? Mm, okay, let's bring my rook to a protected square. <laughs> Can't unsee the rook now. No, exactly. <laughs> Arnish says I look like a Muppet. Now that, however, I have heard before. King of three. Oh, c5, was that his point? That went me house over, as we say in Norwegian. No, it went me house past. I'm still much better, though. Um, yeah, this is not so easy. Okay, let's move the bishop. I'm not, I'm not so happy with the way that I've played this. I do have some tricks though. Knight d6, that's kind of what I was hoping for. Uh, sorry, knight, uh, sorry, bishop d6, that should be. Maybe I don't have a lot there. Takes, takes an e2, then I got g6. Then, yeah, maybe that's not a lot. Do I have anything else? Got knight g4 as well. But then he has bishop e7 later on. Don't know I actually have much there. Problem is, however, I capture on e2, he has counter play. Uh, okay, let's just go knight g4 then. That isn't much though. Ugh, annoying. Really kind of annoying. Okay, let's just go knight e2. Now this should be, it's probably pretty drawish now, I would say. f6 doesn't give anything. Okay, let's try and Trade instead, bishop c3. I mean, don't get me, go, don't get me wrong, I, I am still much better here, but winning is not easy at all. Probably have to trade now. Yeah, this is not easy. Hmm. 
Uh, I was hoping for some kind of weird blunder there, but obviously I didn't. Bishop F4, uh, that's a good move. Objectively, my winning chances here are slim to none. Doesn't mean I'll stop trying though. No, but this is nothing. Oh, he trades this way? Really? Oh, my pawn is running. Okay, let's take. Bring the bishop back. Don't like moving the king over there, but I have to retain the pawn if I am going to have any chance of winning. Mm, I'm not sure he should have brought his king to such a passive square. Now I believe I have chances. Maybe I shouldn't have pushed the pawn. I don't know. It's bishop c6 now. Yeah, this is strong. Almost certainly. Oh, nice. He can just go back. <sighs> yep, draw. That's disappointing. <laughs> no. Okay, take the pawn. Come on. Okay. Hmm. Or fifth fucking time in the tournament. And that just means that I have too few points. That not only is... Who is this? It must be some young player. That not only is my streamer rating low, also my scoring in the tournament is low. Okay, let's play the other time off now. Queen C7. Okay, let's play the modern line. We quickly get into an endgame. Oh, Queen D3. That is unknown to me. Can I go D6? I hope I can go D6. Otherwise, I'd be a bit sad. Oh, so he just wants to... It's a bit weird. Okay, I'll go e5. This is typical structure. Like, trade the dark square bishop and then put the pawns and dark squares. Now I'll try and trade queens. And play an endgame. I feel like often in these structures you put the king on e7. Let me go h6 first. Both preventing g4, g5. Uh, and also preventing the queen from coming to um, to g5. So now I'll just put the king on e7. It's fairly safe there. If I trade queens, the king is going to be well placed for the end game. And um, if he trades a bunch, well, then I'm, the king is also well placed. And now my pawn structure feels a little bit better. So if he, do, if he doesn't do anything fast, then I simply have a stable advantage. Uh, let's bring the knight around, I guess. Try and bring it here. I'm never worried about knight d5, really. I'll just chop that knight off and then blockade his pawns with the knight coming to d6. Am I wearing jeans? Yeah, unfortunately. Should be wearing sweatpants or no pants. Okay, let's put the pawns on dark squares. Truth be told, I don't have a lot here. Oh, that's a nasty move. Didn't see that at all. Okay. Strong move, sir. 
If I take, he takes and e5 is hanging. Or f6 and then d7 is hanging. Okay, let's just go h5 then. But now I'm putting a pawn on the, on the wrong color complex. Now I'm just protecting this. Now I don't have much at all. Now he, I was kind of worried about knight d5 actually. Ah, he sees this as well. It's annoying. Played kind of poorly positionally for a bit, but now he's finding a lot of good moves. I'm still solid, but I'm not better anymore. Okay, let's go f6. Try and make something of my queen of two. Didn't see that at all. It's probably a good move. Okay, let's go 98. Protect the square. It's not easy. Okay, now he gives a check. I wasn't massively worried about that. Maybe I should have been. It does open up an attack on this pawn. Okay, let's block. C4, I have to block with B6. So far he's playing fast and well, which basically is the recipe for doing well in Blitz, especially, especially in Blitz, but also in chess. Queen h3, he's really going for it. Okay, let's go queen c5 maybe. Playing so confidently. What if I trade queens? Oh, his pawns are just too fast, huh? I have to go back then. Can't really accept a draw, although I probably should. To try and break out. Ah, this is not good. Really not good. Uh, okay, let's take whatever. I have to play for a win. I could have probably given perpetual check, but... Ha ha! <laughs> wow, he fell for the only cheap one that I had. That's unbelievable. That's really unbelievable. But basically, you had to put the queen on e3 there if you hadn't plundered his, uh, his queen. I go for the Alapin. Playing Dubov, I think playing boring is a good strategy. Oh, he plays like this. It's basically transposes to a French now. You go bishop d3, preventing bishop g4, because then there's bishop h7. Knight g6. I feel like that's not the most popular move, but probably it's a decent one. Does he go bishop g4 now? But then I can go h3, force the exchange of some pieces, which should be good for the side who is playing against the isolated pawn. And... In this particular game, that person happens to be me. Oh, I see why I shouldn't have done this. Oh, this is a mistake. Yeah, this was a definite mistake. Yeah, you can just go d4 now. Yeah. Oh, Nameless Bandicoot! 
Nice, we have another mod. Very good. Do buff. How on earth am I going to win this? Not even remotely better here. Okay, let's trade. For half a second I wanted bishop e3, but then that wouldn't be ideal due to mate. We have another mod. Is this a personal record for the stream? Has to be, no? Just trading everything. Such a guy. I am the first one to occupy an open file with the rook. So technically I have a very tiny advantage here. Which in reality is of course nothing. I'm allowing him to mess up my pawns a little bit so that I can get the rook to the seventh with impunity. Like, I am very slightly better. One centipede advantage, yeah, exactly. And he's thinking, which I like. Like to make my opponents think. Four rook endings are drawn. Yeah, they have even they have an even stronger draw drawing tendency than two rook rook endings. But we traded off one rook. I guess that's good. Okay, let's go rook c7. Rook b8. I don't think that's the way you should play. I'll go b4 now. I could get chances. Auto mod held a message for a reason. Bullying. Hikaru is a crybaby loser. He isn't really though. So that's the problem with that statement. He isn't. Just a very strong chess player and streamer. He's kind of messed this up. It's still really hard to win. Okay, let's go a4. I could have gone for rook b5 and try and win the pawn, but I wanna. I wanna bring the the king first. Yeah, he's not playing this end game well at all. Yeah, let's fix those pawns for now. Take away counterplay. Now I just think... I think I just win automatically, because he has zero counterplay. King here, but now... Oh, he, he can actually do that, okay. Let's move the king up. Uh, I think we can just activate the king for the win. Yeah, we don't even have to go king b7, I think. Just take the pawn. And now we push. Can even give up this one. And now we just take this. For maximum safety. Okay. Well. I asked you guys. 
If you wanted an endgame lesson in the game we were watching earlier. And we didn't have time, unfortunately, but a lot of people said yes. And for those who said yes, you got one now, you know? This was an endgame lesson. That's not a great pairing, <laughs> needing to win, but that's life. But he has to win as well, so it's not all bad. Should I go for here? Semislav, maybe? It's a really good opening. Hmm. Let's go for the solid line and then try and somehow outplay him later. Yeah, he's playing in the most solid way. Oh, I thought usually when you go for rook d1 early there, you just wait for b6 and then you go cd5. That's fine. Can I go c5 now? Looks fine. Looks like it's equalizing. Hmm. I don't think D7 is a little bit weirdly placed, maybe. Okay, I'll take Rook C8. CD, Knight D5, Queen E4, maybe. G6, maybe that's not so bad. Hmm. should I do here? Start exchanging. It doesn't look super attractive. But I don't see what else to do, so. There we go, I guess. Is there some? Yeah, I think this actually is okay tactically. Knight e5, knight d7, bishop b5, there's rook c7. I think I'm fine. Bishop g3, I want queen c7. Get out of the pen. Faster! Yeah. But I'm playing a very strong player. So. Not easy. Rook C7. I think I'm protecting everything. Move the queen out of the pin. Ah, that's an annoying move. Probably have to trade now. Yeah, I have to trade. Now I'm not a lot worse, but I'm a little bit worse and I'm a little bit passive. This is not, not great news in terms of uh, playing for a win. It's playing very positionally. Okay, let's bring the knight out maybe. H3 was a poor move. Both structurally and potentially also tactically. This now we go bishop c5. More than happy to trade. Get rid of his um his dark square bishop and his bishop pair. I'm oh. sort of taking over a little bit. I'm not like really better, but my position is a little more pleasant to play now.
Yeah, now that he has to trade, he's definitely worse. I can go b5. Shutting the bishop out of the game a little bit. He has queen b7 though. <sighs> Not easy. Let's take. I'm removing the protection of the pawn on f4. And I'm threatening rook c1. Now I can go b5. Keep his bishop out of the game. Uh, b3, that's a good move. I was hoping he wouldn't find that. Oh, I didn't see that at all. I'm still fine, but... If I had any advantage, I'd probably... Lost it by now. Queen d4 is really playing well now. Check. Why is he giving a check? Oh, he wants bishop b7. That's sick. That's a little sick. Do I have any? No, I don't have any ideas there. Okay. To go to a5 then. I can't go. Okay, I have to just go for the attack then. I just hope that this works out. This is so tense. Ah, didn't see that. Check. Is he panicking? I think he's panicking. Check. Check. Now it's mate. Mate. There we go. There we go. Okay. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Uh like if he'd wanted if he like he was panicking because of h4 and then threatening mate, but if he wanted to sack, he should have gone for this instead. And this is a perpetual I'm curious about what's the yeah he has actually has, actually has no nothing more than a draw. I wonder if H5 was good. Okay, it's one of two moves trying. I could have yeah I could have given a, given a perpetual as well.